Hello, and welcome to another segment of Credit Matters TV. My name is Ingrid Ortiz, Associate Director in the Financial Institutions team. Today, I'm going to talk about the outlook for Latin American non-bank financial institutions in 2014 that was recently published. Non-bank financial institutions, or commonly denominated FINCOs, are essentially lightly regulated lenders who extend credit through leasing, factoring, payroll discount lending, loans, micro-lending, pawn shops, mortgages, under warehouses, for instance. FINCOs in LATAM have been somewhat resilient amid lackluster economic growth in 2013, and we anticipate this to continue. For 2014, we expect FINCOs bolster their financial profiles by strengthening asset quality, continue diversifying their funding sources, and boost their internal capital generation. Our base case scenario for this year assumes that Latin American FINCOs will continue to grow their loan portfolio around 12%, at a slightly higher pace than the 2013 forecast of 10.3%, based on Standard & Poor's GDP forecast for the region that expects an uneven 2.9%. Also, we expect they will maintain asset quality and similar reserves coverage as last year. FINCOs have been able to maintain stable asset quality by managing inherent risks in the sector, such as lower economic growth in the region and credit deterioration from risky borrowers, and we expect this will remain supported by the restricted underwriting and more disciplined collection procedures. We consider funding the cheap vulnerability for this sector, although the industry is trying to broaden its funding sources. We have yet to fully achieve this. The sector is highly reliant on just a few funding sources, where only half of the rated FINCOs have access to market debt because of rigorous regulatory requirements to issue debt on their own financial profiles. Also, liquidity stress conditions like a poss possible economic downturn or financial turmoil could overwhelm FINCO's funding structures, stability, and diversity, so it increases the need to have adequate liquidity assets on their balance sheets to meet funding maturities. On the other hand, FINCO's in the region have maintained sufficient capitalization levels over the past few years to support 2014 growth prospects and riskier business profiles compared to traditional banks. We expect that internal capital generation will be maintained through adequate profitability with a return on average assets of 3.9%, unless declining net interest margins, reflecting central bank's monetary policy, changes in each country could hurt the results. Although regulatory bodies in the region are bolstering their guidelines as a response to the sector's growth, we consider that the institutional framework in which operate this finance company is more loosely compared to those of the banking system. In our opinion, Although some practices have improved, the region's regulators could impose more effective monitoring controls and make risk management practices more rigorous. As standards are raised, this may improve the sector's ability to access more diverse funding sources and improve funding costs. Overall, we consider FINCOs are poised to grow by serving the region's great needs as an attractive financing alternative for socioeconomic sectors that fall outside the scope of the banking industry. For more details across regional growth and asset quality by country and by business line, please read the full article at our website. Thanks for watching us.